Hello everyone. So this is a recently put together programmer for the AT Tiny that I made using Arduino. And it's got its own custom built PCB. And it's a relatively straightforward build, uh, but I guess today I want to show you how you can use it. And we're going to do this blink test uh, sketch that we've just loaded up to the AT Tiny. I've included the LED just so it makes it easier to, to do the test and make sure that everything's working okay. So let's get cracking on that. Okay, so what we want to do today is to turn that into a programmer. And to do that, we need to upload a sketch. So plug your Arduino in, and then in IDE, go to File, Examples, Arduino ISP, and click on that. What this sketch will do is turn your Arduino into a programmer so you can program the AT Tiny. So we'll wait for this to load up. Okay, so the sketch is ready to compile, so we'll just upload that. Done. So now our Arduino is a programmer and we can now start to look at program the uh, AT Tiny. So for you to be able to uh, find the board or a port or actually find the board and we're trying to find the AT Tiny, we need to load them up to IDE. So you can go to File, Preferences, and then there's a URL which I'll provide in the uh, description of this YouTube clip and you just paste it in there and you hit OK. That will load up um, the ability to identify the AT Tiny. Okay, so that's all loaded up. Now the Arduino is going to act as a program for the AT Tiny. Before we move on though, we want to go to Tools and then make sure that the program is set up as Arduino as ISP. Uh, that's the only thing you need to do on that screen. Now we can select the AT Tiny, AT Tiny85 in the drop down list. Hit OK. We also have to do the same thing for the AT Tiny. Now this is already coming up as AT Tiny Arduino as ISP. If it isn't, tick the box and that will make sure that everything works well. Um, next, we want to go back into Tools, and then we want to burn the bootloader. So we'll just do that now. I mean, you don't really need these LEDs, but, you know, flashing LEDs are always cool. All right, that's done bootloading. Um, now we want to load up the Blink sketch into the AT Tiny. So I have that open already. Somewhere. Oh. Here we go. So you can see in this sketch here that it says LED pin zero. We actually want it on pin three on the AT Tiny, which is actually number four, which is super confusing. I know, but it is what it is. Now that will um, make pin three high and low and flash LED. So we'll run this sketch and to run the sketch, you have to go up to sketch, and then upload using programmer. Let that compile. That's it. That's how easy it is. It really is simple once you have it set up correctly uh, on, your, on your computer. Um, you can see it's a pretty straightforward. Now, once you know how to do the blink test, you can program the AT Tiny to do a whole bunch of cool stuff. You can make little synths out of it. I've made a bunch of handheld uh, retro games from it. Dice, um, I don't know, there's a ton of things you can play around with. So this is just the start, um, but once you get that blinking, really the sky's the limit. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. And, uh, oh, if you do want to make your own board, I will supply the Gerber files, um, schematics, everything else as a, a, a link in my Google Drive in the description of this YouTube video. So knock your socks off. I've also done a, um, an instructable, which has got all the parts listing. Same thing in my Google Drive as well, but you can uh, find a step-by-step -step guide on instructables too. Hope you have fun, uh, enjoy making, and uh, catch you soon. Bye.